Let's go to page 73. So this is lesson 2-4. And this lesson is on absolute value. And the objective is to solve the open sentence. Open sentence means that you have uh, something that is not solved yet. Okay? And you want to solve the open sentence involving absolute value. Okay, so the, the definition of absolute value means the, means the distance. Okay? So let's say if you have 4 minus 1 absolute value. Okay, this means that is the distance between. So, that, so when you have absolute value, means a diff, is a distance between those two numbers. So 4 minus 1 means a distance between 4 and 1. Okay, so that's your distance over here. So the answer would be the distance would be 3. Okay. Now when you have a, like an x minus, um, when you have x minus, um, let's say 1, okay, you go to 2. So what it's saying is that the distance between this is equal to 2. So you have 1 over here, and the distance is equal to 2, okay? So that means it's, it's going to equal to, so that means x will equal to 3, because here's your starting point, right? That's your starting, so the difference between, the, di the distance between them is going to be 2. So distance between them equal to 2, that means this has to be a 3 and negative 1. Okay? So that's what I mean. So now, when you look on page 73, you have absolute value of x equal to 1. So what I think is that, notice, there's, there's only one, notice you got two numbers over here, but not, right now you only have 1, right? So what I think is that this is actually is this, okay? So that's what this is saying. But normally you don't write 0. So what this thing is that your starting point is 0, and the distance between the x and the 0 is 1, okay? So that means you're going to get this part over here, right? So the distance is 1, so that means you're going to get here and here. So that means x equal to 1 or negative 1, okay? So again, that's the definition. So when you, don't, when you see only a variable no number, that means it's the distance between the, so here's your x, right? So that means the distance between the x and the 0 when you don't see a number, because normally you don't write a zero. Okay, so that's what I mean, okay? Okay, so let's go and go over some examples. Okay, so you want to solve absolute value of 3x minus 2. Now make sure you draw the absolute value line kind of long, so you, it doesn't look like a 1. Okay, so so there are a couple of things we need to solve absolute value. First, you need to have absolute value by itself. You have to get rid of all the things on the outside. Okay? So that's the first thing. Next thing is once you get your absolute value by itself, now you can go and exchange the absolute, one absolute value equation into two regular equations. So the first one is the positive equation. So it would be 3x minus 2 equal to 8. Okay? So the positive equation, everything stays the same. You just drop that. Okay, and then you have the negative equation could be 3x minus 2 equal to negative 8. You have to times this by negative 1. Okay? And next thing is that this would be or. Okay? So the way to tell if it's or or n is this. Okay? When you have arrow pointing the absolute value, okay? so this would be n. So when you have the arrow, like the, the inequality arrow point toward absolute value, that's n. Everything, everything else is or. Okay. So, so that's why this is an OR. Again, if it's point toward absolute value, it's N. Everything else is OR. Okay, so summarize again. First, you need to have absolute value by itself. Then after that, you have to exchange one absolute value into two equations. Okay, then after that, solve. So make sure you have this step and this step. Okay, you've got to have these two steps. Okay, or else technically it would be incorrect. Okay, so now let's go and solve. So plus two. You got 3x is equal to 10, and then you divide by 3, divide by 3. So you're going to get x equal to 10 over 3, okay, and you drop that, or you got to have that, and then you plus 2 over here. So you got 3x equal to negative 6, divide by 3, divide by 3, so you got x equal to negative 2, okay, and that would be your answer. Okay, okay let's go to example 2. Okay, your absolute value of 3 minus 2t, absolute value is less than 5. Okay, so 
first thing, make sure absolute VRV is by itself. So yes, okay. So once you do that, now you're gonna exchange one absolute value inequalities into two inequalities. So, so make sure you have the absolute value by itself, and then you're gonna do the next step by separating the two. Okay. A lot of people will kind of you know do it incorrectly. They do a lot of weird things. So make sure you have the absolute value by itself. Then you're gonna make into two equation after that. And this is pointing pointing toward absolute value, so this would be n. And be three minus two t, and this part has to be opposite, so it'd be greater than negative five. Okay. So you can, so, so this part stay the same. This part, so for the positive equation, stay the same. For the negative equation, you have to change this, multiply this by negative one. Then after that, you're going to solve. So minus three. So you got negative two t is less than two, divided by negative two. So you got t and remember change direction, okay? And follow through with your end. And this one over here, minus three. So you got negative two t is greater than negative eight, divided by negative two. So you got t is less than four, okay? And then you have to sketch it out to, normally you don't have, normally your answer should not have an end. When you have an end, means you always, it means you can simplify, okay? Okay, so for this one here, so this is greater than, so that is this part over here. Now when you're drawing the arrow, go all the way to the end of here, even with that, okay? And this part over here is less than, so you're gonna go this way. Okay. And you have to apply end, so you have to be in pink and blue. So only region that's in pink and blue is this part right over here. So in this case, you're gonna end up with this. Okay, then you're gonna write your answer based on that. Again, your answer should not have the word end, because whenever you have the word end, means you can simplify. So this would be negative one is less than t less than four, and that would be your final answer. Let's go to example three. So you have an absolute value of two z minus one, oh, minus one, plus three is greater than or equal to eight. Okay, so remember, first thing you have to do is you have to isolate your absolute value, okay? So don't, don't make this into two equations right away. Okay, you need to isolate that absolute value. So minus three on both sides. So your absolute value of two z minus one is greater than or equal to five. Okay, now once you have absolute value by itself, once you isolate the absolute value, now you can go and exchange this into two regular equations, uh, regular inequalities. So you get two z minus one greater than or equal to five, and this is pointing away, so it's or. 2z minus minus 1 less than or equal to negative 5. Okay. So again, you have to know how to separate into from one absolute value into two regular inequalities. Okay. So make sure you have these two steps. These are the critical steps. You must have these. So you don't lose points on the test. Okay, let's go and solve. So plus one on both sides. So you got 2z is greater than or equal to 6 divided by 2. So you got z is greater than or equal to three. Okay, and you have the or, and you plus one on both sides. So you got two z is less than or equal to negative four. Divide by two. So you got z is less than or equal to negative two. Then let's go and check, see if it if the answer uh, change. Okay. Okay, so for this one, it's greater than or equal to three. So that's this one here. This one is this one here, okay? And then when you, when the or means include everything, so when you include everything, the answer remain the same. So this is your answer. So what you're checking is, you wanna check, see if you have all real numbers or, or that if you can combine the two. Okay. 